What's up, YouTube? So I'm still alive. Just getting over my third sickness, fourth sickness, I think. Uh, so I still have the sniffles. Excuse me if that bothers you. Sniffles, stuffy nose. Uh, I'm coughing up phlegm like a motherfucker. I thought I would have ran out by now. I've been doing it for like two weeks. But it's whatever, I'm still alive. So I'm here to make a video finally after like two weeks. My bad. It's like the first day I've been on my bike in two weeks too since I started getting sick. It's been too long. It's like 30 degrees. My fucking hands are freezing. because I'm stupid but anyway I digress today I wanted to talk about a, a, an old stigma in motorcycle riding which is riding in the rain that's just a super old stigma nobody wants to ride in the rain right it's too dangerous you're gonna die fucking know that but however come like all motorcycle stigmas they actually come from ancient times when motorcycles would kill you for no reason. Yes. <laughs> no, but really, uh, a lot of motorcycle sigmas, apparently, uh, they originate from the beginning ages of motorcycle riding, like when, uh, you know, motorcycles first started getting big, Harleys and stuff like that, started coming out, and all these little uh, stigmas started coming out. And I just wanna, you know, help you to uh, see the truth on that. And one of the stigmas, you know, you know the old ones, the, the front handbrake stigma, everybody, everybody's heard something about that, you know, the don't touch front handbrake shit. The, uh, <coughs> uh, excuse me, the maintenance stigma where motorcycles are too hard to maintain, they break down a lot, you know, yeah, I can't do that, which we know is not true. And obviously the rain stigma. So uh, the, the whole thing, the reason why I care so much about rain riding is because I was, uh, I was exposed to rain riding almost immediately upon uh, getting my first motorcycle. I mentioned uh, my first bike was a uh, 98 Suzuki Bandit S. S. And I love that bike. But within the first week of owning it, no shit like the second day that I had my license in was legally allowed to ride it. I got caught in a fucking thunderstorm at like 6 in the morning. Uh, like a no shit Texas downpour thunderstorm uh, from across the city. And I had to ride all the way across the city in this to get to work. And that was some shit. That was some crazy shit. And ever since then, I've kind of been like, eh, nah, you know, for rain riding. I, it's never been a stigma for me because I was exposed so early and I got to see a, a lot of the bullshit. Now, mind you, I was also, the bike still had the 98 tires on them from when, when that bike was first made. I don't know how the fuck the previous owner pulled that off. But yeah, in 2013, they still had the original tires on them, which is scary as fuck. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, rain riding. Like I said, it's not that big of a deal, especially if you're in an area like Washington where it rains a lot, but it's kind of pissy rain. It's not really actual rain. It's just like, eh, and everything's wet now. And that's how Washington rains. It's a pain in the ass, and I fucking hate Washington. But we're not going to talk about that. So, uh, so let's get into the topic, God damn it, Fucking. So, uh, the, one of the biggest things, as I was talking about tires, is people talking about tires and traction and uh, actually being able to ride in the rain without slipping and dying, which is stupid. You're stupid. You, if you say that to people, you're stupid. You should kill yourself. Okay, don't kill yourself, but you're stupid. And the reason for that is, again, it's an old stigma. It's based off of old tires, like, like a 19 fucking 60s tires, pretty much. Uh, just like motorcycles, as we all know, except for mine, you can't really say that about the fire blades, uh, technology has found a way. Technology has grown. And tire technology, which I always think is the silliest thing to say, tire technology. Oh, God. The world we live in. Tire technology has come a long way. So, tires are stickier, and motorcycles actually have all-weather tires. They exist. There's rain tires. There's shit. I've even seen snow tires. Not the ones with the nails coming out of them. Those are crazy. But there are no shit snow tires. I don't know who would use them or why, but it's, it's a thing. So, that whole your rubber won't hold argument is now gone. Good. The other argument, uh, as I mentioned, traction. Now, I could get into a 20-minute exposition and with little pictures and fucking charts and, and tables and show you the traction bank and the, the, the contact patch of the tire, the credit card thing, and all that happy horse shit that you don't care about and already know if you're riding a motorcycle, right? But it's obviously part of attraction. So when traction actually comes into play, it's, it's not really about losing traction. It's about, are you an idiot or not? So like right now, if I'm riding straight, go doing 40 in the rain, I'm fine. If there's puddles and I'm doing 40, I might be a little, you know, you know, because you hydroplane at 40, right? You guys do that, right? So that's when hydroplaning starts. But if you're smart about it, you'll be fine. 
going into quarters, like, don't go into a hairy quarter at 200 miles an hour. Obviously, even if you wasn't fucking raining, you'd probably die. <laughs> right? Right? And another thing people don't like is getting wet. So, yeah, I can't help you there if you don't like getting wet. I mean, there's tons, tons of rain gear that you, you can get, uh, waterproof gear, waterproof-ish gear. What is that in between called? Like, is it just resistant? Water resistant gear? There's all kinds of shit. You can actually check out, uh, what is it? Vikingbags.com. Uh, cool people I've been talking to. They have a lot of gear. A lot of it says it's waterproof. I haven't, unfortunately, I haven't been able to test any of their stuff, but they're really cool. So you should check that out. But, uh, yeah. So, you know, you're gonna get wet. And, uh, obviously, in winter, you're gonna be cold. Right now, it's like 30 degrees, and, like I said, I was too stupid to grab my glove liner, so my hands are pretty much blue at this point, but I don't care, because I wanted to ride my motorcycle. Damn it. Right? So, what I can tell you, though, about rain riding, I can tell you about some of the actual no-shit dangers. And this first one might, uh, uh, you know, catch me some flack from some people, and they go fuck themselves, you know, as I usually say, but the people, I think who are in the most danger in the rain while riding their motorcycle are you guys on what you would call uh, starter bikes. Starter bikes, beginner bikes, even not uh, sport touring bikes. Any bike that generates a lot of torque at a low RPM is more dangerous in the rain than say my Fireblade. I would probably be safer on this bike than like an FZ07. Way safer. And the reason for that is because of that, that low speed torque. <coughs> you, that's, instantly lose traction in uh, certain areas like uh, paint there paint this essentially becomes ice if you stop on it and then try to take off your back tire is definitely gonna slide and uh, the number one number number one thing I hate about riding in the rain especially in an area that's got shitty ass fucking highways and roads is tar snakes tar snakes will fucking kill you tar snakes are worse than ice in the rain like Jesus they are ugh. They're, they're pretty much fucking frictionless voids of death. They, they're just there to kill you. Right? So, if you're smart enough to use common sense and avoid certain things like paint, tar snakes, and speeding excessively, you know, all the things people tell you to avoid while you're riding your motorcycle anyway, you'll pretty much be perfectly safe in the rain. Now, uh, for some other actual riding, riding tips, like actual, like, if you're driving, or riding, or driving, whatever, man. If you're actually moving, uh, stuff like if you're on a highway, for whatever reason, or you're, um, on a particular road, what you should do, what I do anyway, is I'll line up my tires, my track that I'm on, my line, if you will, with the car in front of me. I'll line up with his tire tracks in the rain. You know how you can always see, like, the, the trail behind the cars? You can line yourself up in there. And there's less water there. So there's less water for you to worry about. That's awesome. You just line up right there and be like, whoa, that's awesome. Right? Uh, the old trick everybody should know is if you don't have gloves that have a wiper on them, which are nifty gloves, I've never seen them, but I, I well, I've never seen them in like person. I've seen them, but I've never owned a pair. Uh, what you do if your fucking face shield starts getting all fucked up is just turn sideways while you're riding it. It'll just come right off. It'll come right off. It'll come right off. Right off than that, rain riding, honestly, 100% isn't that different from normal riding. It's really not. Now, if you live in a shitty state, like, I don't know, Washington, and it's 30 degrees and wet, yeah, that's when you enter black ice and that shit is dangerous, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna recommend anybody rides like I'm doing right now, because if I hit a patch of black ice, I'm kind of weak right now from the sickness, I'll probably just fucking fall. Yeah, and that's, that's not fun. Nobody wants to fall. But yeah, guys, that's that was more like a rant, I guess, like kind of a, a, an exposition about rating riding, because I'm really, I, I'm really against the whole fair weather thing. I don't like fair weather riders. I mean, I don't hate you guys, but I'm not a fair weather rider fan, and I'm, I myself am not a fair weather rider, especially because I live in Washington. And if I was going to do that, I would never. I'm going to be an asshole right here. I would never be able to ride if I was a fair weather rider out here. It would just be, uh, you know, my bike with a dead battery. So yeah, guys. Yeah, that's my return video, kind of return-ish. -ish. I got a big, big underway coming up. It's going to suck, but uh, it's a ways out a little bit. You know, I, I can't actually talk about it and stuff like that. But that underway is approaching quickly. Uh, I'll let you guys know when I'm going dark again, and I'll, I'll, I'll let you know when I'm coming back. You know I'll do it. You know I'll do it. This ain't the first time. This ain't your first radio. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. If you actually made it this far, whatever. You know, whatever. I just want to update video. God damn it. Stop judging me. You, 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 right, right. It's red safe, in the rain, in the sun, 
I would avoid snow if I were you. <laughs> Just ride safe, guys. See y'all next time.